Hey now, hey now, don't dream it's over. Fabino to Manchester United may not be over. Sorry for the singing, but it may not be over. This is the summer, this is the transfer window, this is papers trying to sell papers, this is AS, who I know nothing really about. Uh, they, they, a bit like Marco in Spain, I don't know, I don't know what their credibility is, but last night they were saying that Atletico Madrid had more or less done a deal for Fabino. We then found later on that that's been retracted now and that there may only be talks with Atletico Madrid because Fabino wants to go to PSG, but Monaco don't want to sell Fabino to PSG. There's then other people saying that Atletico Madrid are hijacking Manchester United's bid for Fabino. So my, my, my thoughts on this are basically nobody's got a clue what's happening with Fabino. So let's just keep on dreaming that we're going to sign him because I'd like him. I think a lot of you would like him. Um, I just hope Mourinho wants him. Let's sign him. Um, the one, there's two things really I would say about Fabino that until he's not a Manchester United player, one, he was on Brazilian TV smiling like, uh, you know, a happy thing. And two, Demarcio said we put a bid in for him. So they're what I'm clinging to hope for. Demarcio's not actually got a, got a United signing right this summer yet. I mean, we've only made two, but he wasn't on either of Lindelof or Lukaku. So hopefully he'll get it right in Fabino. There's still a chance. There's still a chance it can happen. Um, and we'll just have to wait and see, but it'd be perfect for Manchester United. While there's a chance, I'm happy. That's what I would say about that. Now I'm going up next. Uh, this was from Demarcio. Um, Roma are confident, confident that they're going to get him pinned down to a new contract this week. Uh, they've sold a lot of players, Roma. They're trying to bring a few players in. They have already brought a few players in and they see Nine Golan as a fundamental as part of their team next year. Look, Raji, if you want to come to Manchester United, we'll take you. I'm pretty sure Mourinho would take you. Will he force a move out of Roma? There was some talk a couple of weeks ago that he was a bit unsure where his future lay. As I said, if we're not going to get him, I'd rather him stay at Roma. I don't want him to go into Chelsea. But there's a chance. There's a chance. While there's a chance, there's a chance. With both Fabino and Nainggolan, we live to fight another day. The, clo the, the door has not been shut completely yet, so let's just keep hoping. I'm also hoping, I've still not heard from Stan, what I was talking about last night. For those who haven't heard it, it's in the first couple of minutes of the last video. Still not heard from Stan. As soon as I do, I'll let you know. But I'm still hopeful that there might be more marquee signings for Manchester United. I really feel that beyond the centre defensive midfielder, beyond the winger we need, we've already got a striker, we've got a centre-back, I still look at that squad and feel that with the departure of Zlatan and Rooney, we miss a superstar in their sort of mid to late 20s. And I hope that Manchester United will go out and get somebody else. Because I just worry, when I look at the current squad, what if Pogba gets injured? What if Lukaku gets injured? We look, at a bit, we look a little bit lightweight still in the attacking positions. We've got more centre-backs than anybody, but in the midfield and attacking positions, we do look a little bit light. And that brings me on to a couple of things I do want to sort of vent about, if I'm totally honest with you. Anthony Martial leaving Manchester United's back up in the news again. This is like, it's not incredible news. It's in the Metro, the Daily Star. United put £30 million price tag on Anthony Martial. I mean, if I thought for one minute that was true... I think I'd, I'd cry here in front of you. We spent 36 million on him less than two years ago. And we added 5 million to that this season gone when he scored a certain amount of goals. So 41 million. And we think we'll sell a lad who's barely 20 for 30 million. What an app. I mean, where where do they pull these people from? I mean, is, I, I, don't even, I wouldn't even want to disrespect um, five-year-old journalists because that's almost where they're getting this story from. It's just absolute nonsense for football manager players i think they think it's real life or something 30 million for martial when martial's committed himself to the club less than two weeks ago with the tweet saying there's it's all lies his agent said that he's staying Mourinho said that he's staying but still we get regurgitated nonsense that martial's going to leave and not only that he's going to leave but we're going to let him go for 30 million pounds he's not 31 He's in his early 20s. I mean, just bloody absolutely ridiculous. And it winds me up that it goes back into the press. And then we as United fans have to field and fend off this nonsense and get a little bit concerned that they're trying to unsettle a player that we back and we want to do well. It really, really does wind me up. And I just think, you know, sometimes, I mean, a lot, there is a lot of nonsense out there, but sometimes it just, it, it, it drops into stupidity as to why that even gets printed. I mean, we had the thing yesterday, didn't we, where the paper printed out a picture of Lukaku that was Stormzy. Um, people, some people say it's racist, 
whatever about that. It's just bad journalism. But that about Martial is ridiculous. You know what will happen now. Martial, Martial will go to Roma for 30 million, won't he? But if he did, it, I wouldn't say Mourinho needs sacking, but that would be a joke, an absolute joke. And another thing that got my goat today was um, the mirror. The mirror on about uh, Manchester United have now spent 587 million since Sir Alex Ferguson retired. More than they did when he was in charge. I mean, what are they on about? It's like a millionaire going to a Chinese restaurant when Sir Alex Ferguson was in charge and just having egg fried rice and chicken balls. And then Sir Alex Ferguson, not, not the manager anymore, but somebody else from Manchester United goes to that Chinese restaurant and you know what they do with their Chinese, uh, with their egg fried rice and their chicken balls? You know what they do? They have, to, they have some spare ribs with it as well. They have something a little bit more. Wow, wow, they can afford it. You know what, open their wallet up. Open up the wallet of Manchester United we are the British club in the Premier League through self-generated funds, whether it's from the Sky Money, whether it's BT, whether it's sponsorship, whether it's merchandise. It all comes from the fact that we've got the, the, biggest, the biggest fan base. We absolutely obliterate anyone in the Premier League. The fact that, again, journalists feel the need to wind Manchester United fans up and stir the pot so that people will have a go at us with absolutely no basis to their argument is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It's always Manchester United because Manchester United sell papers. They make people click on things. I couldn't give a damn if we spent a billion pounds more than we did under Sir Alex Ferguson. The reality is Manchester United could spend 500 million pounds every summer and still have enough for to do whatever they wanted. You know, give the Glazers a holiday to Magaluf every year. They'd still have the money to do that. Manchester United can afford to do what they like. I don't think we spend anywhere near enough for what our revenue is because, and in a way that's good because I don't want us to just be obliterating everybody with massive fees every summer, but we could do. And what we do with that is our business. And it, I just think sometimes he, I expect it. We all expect it. Manchester United, you know, you're going to get written uh, about absolute nonsense a lot of the time but those two today sort of pushed me off a bit because uh, pushed me off I didn't say the other word because Martial's not going anywhere and what for that price it's just idiotic idiotic journalism and then talking about the money it's the same old argument you know what we'll, have, we'll draw in September and they'll all be sharpening the knives for Mourinho all I say is stick together stay with United and uh, get commenting below give us your thoughts anyway you might have a few thoughts about what I've said I've, I've had a tour de force there but uh that's it, you're updated. Thanks everyone for watching. Drop a like on the video and I'll speak to you all later. Half past eight tonight with Rodney unless something else happens before. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll look forward to reading some of your comments on today's, you know, little bit of hope with Fabino and Nyngolan, a little bit of uh, rants with uh, Martial and the ridiculous money comments. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you all soon.